Oi, number 10194. Oh, Grizzly Spears, it's him. What is it, sir? Why aren't you at the terminus? You'll do out with the late night goods in 15 minutes. Well, I can't have had the bloody chain if I'm not properly ready, now can I? You look ready enough to me. Only just. Regardless, you'd better get your sorry tender up to the station before I- All right, all right. Uh, are you ready, Angus? Hey, come on, old girl. We didn't have to listen to this. Bah! Steam engines. Useless antiques. Huh. You know what? If Miss Doomsday's theory does come to fruition, at least we won't have to deal with his nonsense anymore. Oh no, Roy! Mr. Sheffield was completely adequate in his duty as railway manager. It's beyond me how the hell BR felt the need to retire and replace him with that whingy old fart. Alright, alright, calm down, chaps. As deplorable as he is, Alistair Jenkins is the new manager, and unfortunately, we'll have to tolerate him as such. Tolerate? All due respect, Tom, but we tolerate him enough as it is, trying not to smash his ugly face into his head every time we see it. <sighs> It's a start, I suppose. Droid Inspector. I'm afraid this lass's valve gear aren't going to be fixed till tomorrow afternoon. Oh, confound it. We need to find a replacement engine for that blasted Deluxe good, seeing as how he's still refusing to turn a wheel. Um, excuse me, sir, but I could take his trains tomorrow again. Oh, be reasonable, number 100. Who will look after the station, then? Watson can do it, sir. He's more than capable and equally is willing to step up to the task. And besides, given the severe lack of shipping traffic as of late, I'm sure the dock complex can spare him for one more day. Hmm, that's most certainly an option, yes. I'll have Control verify it. Huh, no telling what escapades Tomata's gonna bring. <sighs> indeed. Huh? <gasps> Watson! Stop! What the? Oh no! Oh, crumbs. Ouch! Ah! Oh. Watson, what are you doing? You ran into me. Sorry, Elsie. I'm running a bit late getting up here from the harbor. I have to cover again for Tom again today, you see, and... Wait. Tom? Where's Tom? Slow down, old boy, or you'll break something! Must be on time. Must be on time. <laughs> what the hell? Who's lost it? Ow! <sighs> oh. Damn. Come on, Reg, let's go see what happened. Still trying, Thompson. Pathetic. Wait! Wait! Uh. Good lord, sir. Are you alright? Uh. No. I am not bloody alright. As you can see, I missed my train. Well, I'm sorry. I was only trying to help. Yes, well, unless you can get me at the Brower, I don't see how that's possible. Brower, you say? Hmm. You know, I have to pass it on my run. We could drop you off. I'm sure a ten second stop won't do any harm. Really? Would you do that? Sure thing. Our sentients have a duty to our passengers, after all. Uh You've really done it this time, Thompson Krellin. Uh What's the damage? Oh, you've only gone and ripped the bloody brake pipe in two. It's a miracle the coupling didn't go as well. We've refastened it to your tender, but we'll have to run as an odd fitted trying to reduce speed now. Probably not the best time to bring this up, but there's a gentleman here who needs to get up to Brower. Would you mind some extra company on the footplate? Mm. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna be light anyway. Come on board, sir. We'd offer you the bright van, but it's in a real shoddy start right now. 
It'd honestly be more comfortable to ride up here. Ooh, that's quite a ride, my good man. Right. Let's reverse back to the switch so we can get to the platform track. Okay. There's a little ticket jiffy. Thank you ever so much for doing this for me, chaps. Oi. Don't mention it, sir. I must ask, though. What will your superior say about my riding on the footplate? Probably won't do anything above the reprimand. They honestly don't care. Really? I'm afraid so. We've degraded to the point where basically anything's permissible now. Oh? How so? Well, suffice it to say that the management here feel miserably at handling their money. Oh, I am sorry to hear about such neglection. Now, of course, it wasn't always like that though. Oh? No indeed. I remember a time when these matters were owned by an actual functioning railway. The LRTS it was called. It was a quaint railway, but it served its purpose well. We knew everybody, and everybody knew and respected us. Ah, those were the days of prosperity and peace. But alas, that is a bygone age. Is there anything I can do to help? Possibly, sir. You see, what we could really use is a popularity boost. Ah, here's Brow Station. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you for the lift, lads. Sure thing, sir. Oh, and uh, thank you for telling me about your old LRTS, Thompson Crellin. It was a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure was mine, sir. If I'm being honest, it was nice to confide in somebody else besides the other engines for once. All right, come on, Tom, old boy. We'd best get going. All right, Reggie. It was nice to meet you, Mr... Um... Sorry, what was your name again? Valentine. Hugo Valentine. It was nice to meet you, Mr. Valentine. I hope we meet again someday. But until then, cheerio. Hmm. A popularity boost? I wonder...